Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer. I'm a zookeeper here in the Rainforest Building at the Calgary Zoo. Today we're going to feed the panther chameleons that we have here at the zoo. We have one male and one female. Neo is the male and Trinity is the female. They were born in the same clutch, so they're two and a half years old. Uh, lifespan for chameleons, uh, panther chameleons, is not very long. The female about three years and the male about five. So here we have our crickets and superworms, and we have to dust them with calcium because they need those extra vitamins in their diet. This just makes sure that they have a healthy diet. So this is Trinity, this is our female. Uh, you can tell the males and females apart because the females are half the size of the males. So she's got a cricket there. So obviously the eyes are very interesting for chameleons. They can look at different things at different times those eyes they get a great view and you can also see her feet they look like little mittens um, but they actually do have five toes uh, they're just fused so you have two toes that are fused together and then three toes that are fused together and also a prehensile tail you see that she's wrapping her tail around the branch there that just gives her a little bit extra stability we feed our chameleons three times a week usually Monday Wednesday Friday and uh, probably 10, 10 to 12 crickets plus superworms, and they, we vary that between the male and the female. It's, uh, hungry anymore, we'll see if she wants any more. Looks like she might be done. So this is Neo, he's our male. You can see he's uh, twice the size of the female. That's called sexual dimorphism. And you can see his bright colors, whereas the female wasn't, you know, she had some orange on her, um, but she's not as brightly colored as Neo. Um, chameleons have different color phases. So this species of chameleon, the panther chameleon, they can have uh, a variety of color phases depending on where they live. So you'll have like a patch of green chameleons and then it might get, they might get a little more orange. And of course that tongue is very unique as well. There's a couple different muscle groups that uh, control that tongue. There's retractor muscles and accelerator muscles. So one group will extend the uh, tongue out and the other group will bring the tongue back in. And of course, uh, some sticky saliva on the end of their tongue to help secure that prey. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, looking at our panther chameleons and thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.